Hello again Ferrari Enzo fans. So if you search my channel for Enzo, you'll see I've had I've purchased several of these now. The very first one was so poorly painted, you should really watch that video. It's like the worst paint job ever in diecast cars. And I've gone and repainted it to this uh, mint mint color. And uh, I didn't do it very well. Well, it's all right, but the uh, mirror was so messed up, I just threw it out. And I thought I could just uh, body fill the thing. But uh, the body filler and then the repeated application of paint, it just kept on shrinking. So I have these dimples in there. So that's the one thing really wrong. I also seem to have lost the windshield wiper. Not sure where that went. And obviously the badging is all gone because uh, I stripped it down and repainted it. So um, this I got my money back for, so I consider it a free car. And I took a chance and I bought the very same one, but in a different color. This is this model, by the way, is made by Ace Model. There, Ace. And uh, they have a lot of good intentions. I mean, it's got a lot of great details. It's just the quality control for me has been bad two times now. On this one. You can see the door. There's just a massive scratch in the clear coat. Uh, it's, so that's that's it bothers me. And then the this mirror isn't particularly facing as far back as it could. Uh, but it's mainly that scratch in the door that just got me so angry again that I thought I'd finally, you know, try to get another one. I even have another video comparing it to the Kyosho, but that thing's not as good as these, so I don't even bother bringing that out. Let's put these aside here. So we're going to try a new, a new seller here. This one came from uh, AliExpress here. And the seller's name is Small Box Model Car Store. So I just want to do this so you can see how people pack stuff. And in this case, they, they packed it with a lot of brand new bubble wrap. Right? So they didn't pack the sides though. So the box could theoretically get messed up on the sides. Okay, so what we have here is a brand called DMH. It's a nice box. Unfortunately, it's a, I had to buy that this box. You know, this box probably cost like five dollars for for the retail price, right? And I'm never gonna display it in this box, so that kind of feels a waste of money. Uh, no licensing or anything like that. So we got a protective uh, cover here. Let me get my little mini axe knife or mini cleaver. I got this off AliExpress as well. It's pretty cheap. I think it was like four bucks or five bucks. It actually, it's pretty good. It's a Damascus steel. So, oh, that's totally loose. So you want to make sure you're always holding the base. It's just good practice to always hold the bottom. But yeah, that comes off. So this base actually is wood. Uh, it's not a real piece of wood. It's like that chipboard, you know, the particle board. MDF. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it just has a grain on the outside but you can just tell in the holes themselves this is really sawdust glued together but I, I suppose it's all right it looks like real wood from here okay hmm. well anyways it's a new one I've never had a an MDF uh, board here as a base before so that must be the DMH logo I'm not really sure if I see the D there, but I do see the M and the H. Um, we got 125 and 139, and then the signature there. All right. So I'm not gonna touch this car. It's not coming off the base. Hmm. You can pause and decide for yourself. Well, for me, it looks like an Enzo. 
uh, I would say it's a pretty good replica. Now let's hope that there's no quality problems because this I there are no more Enzos for me to buy. The, the Enzo for some reason, even though it's kind of an ugly Ferrari, it's just for some reason I feel like I have to have the best version of this model in my collection. It's one of those one of those Halo Ferraris that uh, I feel like I have to have. All right, so the license plate back here, it's got the printed, I just kind of feel it's crooked. It seems like there's actually inserted reflectors there. I don't think, that's not paint. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty impressive. That's a tiny inserted piece of plastic. Look at these exhaust tips, they're very thin wall. I think they're metal. I think those are actually metal tubes. See the jagged edge on this one? I think it's because it was actually cut. Same here. These tubes were cut. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's some thin metal. So that's that's the first. I have never seen a metal exhaust pipe on a model be this small before. So that's pretty pretty cool. The prancing horse, I'm sure, must be a piece of photoish metal. I don't want to pick at it. I feel it might knock it off. This is a tiny uh, texture going on here. I don't... I see a tiny break, so I, I have to assume that's photo etched metal as well, painted black. Oh, look at this, the third brake light. I think that is probably a piece of plastic as well. Yeah, I'm gonna... yeah, look at that. Come on. So that might be the thinnest piece of plastic I have ever seen uh, in a diecast uh, 164. That's literally a piece of plastic like the third brake light would really have on the real car. So that's astounding. Absolutely astounding. Unfortunately this reflector here is... I was going to say paint, but I might be mistaken. I think that might be a piece of plastic again. I think it actually might be a piece of plastic that's painted. I think you can see a little bit of depth there in front of the pick, right? So I think that's a piece of translucent plastic. Wow, that's crazy. All right, let's look at this wheels. I mean, we're under some serious magnification. So you can, there's some dots in the rotor back there. The caliper has some printing on it, I think. It probably says Brembo. Hmm, unfortunately the spokes are blocking it. But you got the prancing horse there on the center knockoff. The treads, there are treads there. They're not too off-roady. We got a Ferrari badge there, although I'm not sure if that's accurate. Wouldn't it say Pininfarina? Hmm, that's questionable. That might have want to say Pininfarina. Um, yeah, there's the crest there. I don't know if that's a decal. Or separate piece. I'm trying to feel. It feels smooth, so it could be a decal, but I feel it might be under the clear coat. I don't feel any sort of lip or wedge. Whoa. Is that a tiny piece of plastic? I do feel like this rectangle one there. That's a piece of translucent orange plastic. But this would now be the smallest piece of plastic I've ever seen on a 64 scale car. That's insane. I, I'm trying to think of a better adjective. It's not crazy. Insane is more extreme, right? So that's that's institutional. That's the word I'm going for today. All right, look at this. Yeah, same thing there. All right, so separate uh, lens, and then you got a bucket behind there with some additional lights. I don't know if those lights are actually separate pieces of plastic in that bucket, but it wouldn't surprise me if they are. I th is there a dome to that? That's what I'm wondering, if it's a domed piece of clear plastic. I can't zoom in anymore. That's 4x magnification. But look, look in that vent. That's a photo etched piece of metal. 
looking at like a radiator fan. That's a new high for me as well. Okay, uh, photo etched metal in this grill. You got those tiny little punch holes there. Unfortunately, there's the first problem. The this logo it's is cracked. I think it must be a decal and it it wasn't done properly. It's not centered and it's missing part of it. So that's a real shame. That's probably one of the most important graphics on the car. So that's too bad. Uh, I was on such a roll. This would have been the perfect model of the year for sure. Well, maybe not because look at the edges of the um, the headlight. Like, why are they so rough? That's that's really weird, right? So that that's a problem. But this is really cool. Uh, the paint quality itself is really nice. There's a tiny hairline issue there but I mean the reflection is nice look at the dental pick and the reflection that's that's pretty nice this, uh, I'm gonna guess this is hand painted someone with an airbrush painted this thing all right so there's a wiper blade and that's got to be a photo edge piece of metal but look into the interior Behind this windshield, you see that grating? I have a feeling that's a piece of metal because there's something behind that black grating. So that's nuts. Yeah, you can see if I shift it, there's something behind that black dotted uh, grill. There's a carbon fiber graphics all over the interior there. Let's go back to the outside. We haven't even finished. Look at this vent. So that's got some sort of inserted piece. I don't know if it's metal or plastic, but it's got texture. The mirrors obviously are gonna have a reflector sticker in there. And there you go, reflecting. And then uh, the, the vents here, same thing. There's a black piece of something with a grill texture on it. Same with the vents up top here. Then uh, there's a little silver dot here for the door actuator and then these are the uh, super thin plastic windows they're not molded they're literally like sheet plastic and they print on the blackout this one actually might be sheet plastic with another piece of black metal on top of it for the molding yeah I think that's what's going on with the side window here same with the windshield it's a clear piece of plastic and then this tiny black ring of the molding is a separate piece. My pick is running into the edge. So that's pretty realistic. I erased molding that thin. Okay, so the engine here. There's a prancing horse there on top of that carbon fiber work. You can see the red cylinder heads. Silver I think there, silver there. So that's pretty good. These uh, side vents here, it's definitely a texture. I'm not sure if it's plastic or, or photo etched, but the Ferrari logo back here as well. I do feel that that might be a little bit jacked up too. Yeah, it's not straight, so that's too bad. Hmm. I am probably the unluckiest collector, I think. I simply cannot get a nice Ferrari Enzo. It's it's not meant to happen. Okay, well anyways, these are clear translucent plastic. You got red seats in there. I have to pull out the flashlight, but let's see. Look, uh, you can see the pick back there. It's got a rear view mirror, obviously. So that's how clear these windows are. Let's, let's try from the side. It might be hard because there's too much reflection on the angled glass, but yeah. That's pretty clear, right? That's the benefit of these panel uh, windows, the sheet sheet windows. All right, so this seems to be printing on the steering wheel. Oh, 
it looks like the glove box is red on the dashboard. The lower part of that dashboard is red. So that's pretty cool. The seat there. Oh, look at that. I think there's a seat belt coming over the shoulder. Well, wow, hold on here. Yeah, look at that. That's a literally, it's a seat belt. It's not a decal stuck to the seat. It's literally suspended in the air. So the seat backs have like those black pieces where the where a race harness would go through. But yeah, you can see that seat belt on the left. It actually has a buckle on it as well. That silver buckle. It's a little harder to see on the driver's side, but it's there. And then right in between those two seats, it looks like there's, you know, the mechanisms to put that buckle. So that's that's really good. Hmm. Uh, well, so you've seen a lot of this model. It's obviously a nice model. Some of these details I've never seen in any of my other, you know, models in my entire collection. So, in particular, these tiny, tiny pieces of plastic uh, for the uh, lights uh, just crazy uh, but unfortunately it's just let down by the by quality control problems in particular the logos the front and back logo which everyone's gonna want to look for mine are messed up and then the headlight lens covers the rough edges they look like they're look at that that's there's something off with that so that's not good but everything else is really astounding Oh, and it is questionable if it's just, I don't think it should say Ferrari there. It should say Pin and Farina. I'm, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure all Ferraris say, you know, the styling house on the side, not Ferrari. So I don't know if that's a licensing issue, but that wouldn't make sense. The whole This whole product isn't licensed by Ferrari. There's nothing on the, the box saying Ferrari. There's nothing on this even saying, I guess, well, nothing with that official logo. So, hmm, I'm a little torn, you know, it's, uh, this was not an, it wasn't inexpensive, it was relatively expensive, so it's not the best value for sure, that's, that's a given, this is not a good value, but it's definitely the best Ferrari Enzo in 164, that's, that's for sure as well, it's just, uh, hmm. I'm just really torn between the price versus these quality problems. For the price that I paid for this thing, I expect it to be perfect. And unfortunately, it, it's not. So, it's too bad. Well, this is the last of my Enzo, Ferrari Enzo videos. It's just not meant to be. And it's too bad. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, hopefully you learned uh, whether or not you want to go and get one of these DMH Enzos. I know they have a couple other colors. They have, a, I think, a metallic red, a mint green, maybe a, well, I, I know there's two waves of colors. I just wanted to get the traditional red because, you know, again, for this price, I want it to be what I envision an Enzo should be, and I envision an Enzo to be red. All right, then. Well, I appreciate you watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next uh, review. Thanks for, thanks for watching.